Let's create our first real application. This will be a restaurant app, so let's start with creating a menu page. First of all, delete all the components you don't need anymore. Then, select the page component and set its footer and header properties to false to hide them. You can use the outline view to locate the needed components. To show the menu banner on the page, place an image component on the screen, choose and apply the needed picture. Now let's add a grid to the page. I also want to add a photo of my meal, so let's drag and drop another image component into the grid and upload some custom image I prepared. You can also upload several images at once. As soon as they are uploaded, choose the image and click apply. Next, I want the cell to be a little bit smaller, so let's go to the Style tab and set its size to, for example, 5 of 12. Now, let's add the name and some description of the meal. For this, I'll add the text component, let's name it Soup, and then let's change its style to H3. After that, let's add another text component with some description. So this will be Vegetable Soup with H4 style. Then I want to add one more column with the price, so let's select the grid row and click the plus button. We can change the text style in another way, just go to the Styles tab and locate the font size property, let it be 32. Say it will cost like $7. We can also change the alignment so that it could look a little bit more attractive. We are also free to modify the background style of the whole grid, so let it be black, but the row will be gray. Next, as I want to add more menu items, I can just clone the row. Now, all I need to do is change the content, so this one will be meat. Description will be grilled meat with vegetables and change the price. This is it.